Hey everyone, talking about Against Nature by Timothy Hahn. This is named after and based on a novel that came out in 1884 about a protagonist who isolates himself from Earth in order to rebuild himself out of conventional society. So you know it's going to be a little bit weird at least. The notes in this are on the top, pink pepper, lemon, juniper, green, and metal. In the mid, jasmine, ylang ylang, lavender, and lacquer, like L-A-C-Q-U-E-R, varnish type of scent. And in the base, we've got musk, vetiver, amber, sandalwood, and patchouli. So obviously that base looks completely conventional to the point of just snooze fest. But, and you know, kind of aside from the lacquer, so does the heart. Really, it's kind of really the lacquer and the metal that stand out here. So yeah, it is weird, but it's kind of nice that it's weird yet still wearable. So in the opening, right away, I'm getting something that almost feels like drinking a Sprite from a soda can, i.e. you get some fresh lemon-lime sort of citrusy effect and briskness, but you're also getting that aluminum can type of smell as well. Pink pepper adds some brightness in there in a nice way. And as it continues, you know, you're starting to get some florals when it goes into the middle phase, and that lacquer note definitely comes out. At the same time, some of the notes are combining into a way that almost smells like swimming pool or something like uh, chlorinated water drying on asphalt so there's a lot of interesting kind of sensations and maybe nostalgia and weird accords going on in here the lacquer and the metal are again very weird you notice them they're present because you know that they're in there if you've looked at the notes but i think if you were wearing this in public someone might just be like oh that's cool what is that but i don't think they would be like you're wearing something that smells like metal and lacquer like, I highly doubt. It's not that level of weird. So this is good if you want something that feels a little bit unique, that's like kind of has a fresh opening and then a more conventional sort of, not earthy, but sort of just basic woods, vetiver, patchouli, musk, amber, dry down. Well, it keeps a little bit of weirdness even into the dry down from the lacquer in the middle. And it's very unisex, completely just a fresh scent. The florals never get too feminine leaning and at the same time the opening which is a little bit cologne-ish in terms of the notes doesn't go super masculine or anything either. I think this is worth trying for anybody who likes fresh scents and is kind of looking for something a little bit weird like if you've tried Hermes H24 with that kind of metallic accord in there. It's not quite like that here but if you liked that you'll probably like this. So file this under interesting but not mind-blowingly like so weird that you can't wear it and pretty good for different types of weather the beginning is definitely a warm weather tarp but by the time it kind of settles down a little bit it becomes something that you could kind of easily wear in sort of any weather really so yeah you can this goes for let's see a 60 mil is 195 uh, it is creative it does smell good. I think if that was for 100 mil, yeah, fair, no questions asked. I don't think it's fair for a 60 mil, but it's also not so far out of the realm of it where it's like, why would anybody buy that? That's ridiculous or anything like that. You can get a sample for about five bucks. I will put the link in the description where you can get a bottle or a sample. And if you check it out, let me know what you think.